Good morning. Here we are this winter morning, December 22nd, and we're uh, looking at a few different formations that may be around here for uh, septarian nodules. Anytime that you have uh, these kind of books of sedimentary rocks and then you see all that silt right there, well normally there will be septarian nodules in that silt. Um, there should be some, let's see what's that, it'll be, in, that's probably a septarian nodule right there, big huge, uh, but we'll get a little closer look at it and, and see, I'm sure we'll be able to find some, and we'll check it out here in just a minute. So here we are again, uh, just like I figured, um, every time you see these books of sandstone and just big huge uh, cuts or cliffs even of uh, the sedimentary rock and then down below it where you have all this fine silt that's where you'll find your septarian nodules and this appears to be a very good spot um, as you look down through there all those big round rocks sticking out from the edges those are septarian nodules and they're sometimes quite huge um, that's a pretty good looking one there. We'll see what's in the middle of that. Unfortunately, we don't see no small ones that we can bust open, but I'm sure we'll find some material in here. But those big ones right through there, yeah, that's exactly what you're looking for. So this is commonly what they look like inside. Um, come on, get back, get back over there. Okay, I see it. Back. Uh, you'll have kind of a Oh, real crystalline structured material. Calcite and gypsum is real common inside there. Very soft. Some of them can be quite appealing to the eye. You get this kind of a... Normally the rocks are all round, almost like a geode. And then inside they have different crystallization or formations to them. Let's look some more. Here you see where the soft gypsum or calcite odd kind of formations within them. That whole rock right there is a septarian nodule. Um, it's kind of hard to see it from afar, <laughs> but uh, that whole thing is just a big old huge septarian nodule. Let's see how close we can get into there. There is some good crystals right there, very soft material. It does scratch with the fingernail, probably gypsum. Sit down, sit, stay. That should give you some sort of a size comparison. That's how big it is. Oh, there's another nice one right there. Let's go check it out. Okay, go. Yeah, that's a nice one. Damn. No, no, buddy, I'm not, I'm not here doing anything. You gotta back up, buddy. Here you see some really neat crystallization here. Um, I don't know if that's calcite or gypsum, but oftentimes you'll see where it's um, got hard, the calcite is normally harder, and then in the center you have a nice, real, real super soft gypsum material. Kind of like here, and then in there is kind of real soft gypsum. These kind of flake off. Some of them I found can really be very good and translucent, but that's a good example of a very large one. 
Here's uh, <clears throat> some more. It's a little easier to see on this kind of how it got its name. Uh, different segments broken up into different compartments or uh, spaces. That's what they look like if they're completely undisturbed. Just a large orb. Uh, seen some about the size of a cantaloupe and then of course some about the size of a Volkswagen. So. Another large section. Some of it can be kind of neat. This almost root beer looking material. I don't know how well this will zoom in, but we'll see. Kind of different. There you see the good uh, gypsum growing on that calcite. And those pockets get, that's what you want to find is when the septarian nodules have a large pocket in there that, yeah, right there. Now, if that one's small enough, we might take that one home. It looks bigger than a beach ball though, so I don't know. It looks pretty rough. Oh, dude, you're okay. And there's a lot of them. So there might be some smaller ones in that section up there. Kind of hard to get at, though. Oy. <laughs> Hope that stuff don't fall down right there. Yeah, that don't look too good. Here's that big one I could see from a long ways away. And uh, I see a real nice little bitty dude right there. That's kind of neat. And uh, obviously there's some nice crystallization in there. Uh, let's see here what this is. Sparked a little feather. I don't know if we're getting... I don't know if you can see the sparkle on that one. See what's in here. Big flakes of gypsum. Oh, there's a nice piece. Dig around in there a little bit. I said, oh, there's something else coming out. This is one of the best ones I've ever seen. It's big, very big. Can't quite get the uh, perspective on it, but it is very big. Here's my, look at that. Great big, huge blades of nice crystals. Some of these, these blades, ow, actually quite hard. Eh, can't quite, oh, there it goes, a little scratching going there. You can scratch them, normally the gypsum is a lot softer than that, that didn't seem to be too soft. Uh, usually scratching it with your hands or your fingernails, I mean your fingernail is a very good key indication of gypsum. Well in this case, my dirty old fingernails. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now you can see that scratch is really easy. Really nice. 